Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Izzy. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday because I was filming another video and that one got trashed because it was horrible. So I'm filming this one that I'm gonna try to upload tonight. Love you. Um, also, thank you for almost 300 subscribers now. Like, what the actual f Like, what did I do to deserve this? Literally nothing. I love you all so very much. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I trained my dog to help with my anxiety. My dog's name is Murphy. He's a golden doodle. He is three years old, and he's very, very smart. So he picked up on this super quickly. Super quick? Super quickly. I don't know. Well, he picked up on it really fast. It only took two days for us to learn, so this might take longer for you. And if- Off! It's my Polaroid! He's a fucking weirdo. So Murphy isn't a service dog or an emotional support dog because... Can you stop touching stuff, please? Murphy isn't any of those things, mostly because A, therapy dogs require a lot of training. I just don't think my family would want to do that. Basically the trick is you will be tapping your leg or you'd be crying or breathing heavily and your dog will come comfort you and distract you from your anxiety. Murphy has actually done this a couple times. Last week I was having a big mental breakdown. I was going like this. He put his paw like on top of my body and it was really helpful and then he curled up next to me and laid with me. I think the first part of just tapping your leg really helps your dog get to know when you're feeling stressed. Once they pick up on that, it'll be a lot easier for them to notice when you're anxious otherwise. Also, I think there's a tick on his head. Sorry. And he doesn't like it when I touch it. He's in an aggressive mood. Like, who's that? Is that a camera? Okay, please don't touch my camera. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's get into the video. I left these unattended and he ate them. Okay, sorry, Murphy, you're gonna have to introduce yourself. Well, this is Murphy. And I took his collar off because he looks cuter when he's naked. That sounded really pedophile-ish. Murphy, can you get out of the viewfinder? First thing you're gonna work on is the word T-O-U-C-H. I'm not gonna say it because then you'll try to do that to something. So you know, I had this a uh, fourth day of soccer, third day of soccer today, and I played literally so good. Like genuinely played so good. And that just makes me really happy. So the first thing that we're gonna do to teach them the whole leg bounce part is you're gonna put your hand in the air like so. Don't do it, stay. Like stay, stay, like this, and you're gonna say T-O-U-C-H. Touch. Yes. And so once they bring their nose to it, you're going to say, why, yes, yes, whatever. Sorry, he thought that I was saying it to him, so he was like, where's my T-R-E-A-T? I spell a lot of things out when I'm with my dog because I don't want to confuse him. Keep doing it like this. Murphy, touch. Yes. He jumps up more, but that's more of an advanced thing because he knows that when I bounce my leg, I want him to jump up onto me, not just, like, touch my nose to, touch his nose to me. He, like, whenever we're in training sessions, he thinks that everything is a command, and he just tries to, like, he's like, whatever will get me treats. Isn't that right, bud? Isn't that right? Okay. It was at this moment he knew he had been caught. Hey, can you please get out of the lens? Touch. Yes. When they first start out, again, they'll just be using their nose. Murphy, touch. He doesn't see my hand. Touch. Yes. And then, so once they nail that down, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your hand and you're going to put it somewhere in your body as a target spot. So I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to put it on my thigh. Touch. Yes. So make sure that they touch the spot where you put your hand because then they recognize that it's a target spot and they're not just touching you to get a T-R-E-A-T, if that makes sense. Touch. Yes. So I don't know if you can see from this angle, but basically I'm just putting my hand on my thigh and I'm saying T-O-U-C-H and he's putting his paw or his nose on me and then I'm rewarding him with a T-R-E-A-T. Sorry if the spelling is annoying. Ah, uh, he looks like a little chipmunk. I'm sorry. So we're just gonna keep doing that until he, your dog understands it. You might wanna break this up on a few days because dogs can get really confused when you're doing so much at one time and it can just be really overwhelming for them. So definitely break it up a little bit. Touch. Yes. What you're gonna do next after your dog understands that part is you're, do you like that? He's such a hoe for neck rubs. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted with my dog. So what you're gonna do next is going to require us to move over to the couch. So we're gonna do that just so you can see it better and stuff. I love you. Yes. 
I love you. I love you. <laughs> Moved over to my futon. Um, unrelated note, since my room tour, those pots up there fell down. So that's really sad, but yeah. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add in a leg bounce to that. So I'm going to put my hand on my thigh. I'm going to tap my foot. I'm going to say T-O-U-C-H. So I'll go something like this. Touch. Yes. After you keep doing this, touch. Yes. This will take your dog a while to get. It took me and Murphy a long time, even though it only took two days. Like, touch. Yes. This will be harder with the leg tap. Just make sure they understand what's going on. So just keep practicing that for a long time until they get it. And then after you do that, you're just gonna remove the word. So Murphy, you're just gonna leg tap with your hand. Yes. And keep doing that till they get it. Yes. The key of having your hand there is because it's a target spot and that's what we learned previously with the just going like that and touching. Touch. Yes. So that's your target spot and that's how he knows when to put his paw somewhere. So that's why you have to combine that with a leg tap to get him to understand that you want him to do it still. That doesn't make sense, but it's okay. So then once they get that, you want to do a few leg taps. Yes. Good boy. So see, I just tap my leg and he jumps up on me and distracts me. This has been really helpful. He's helped me a lot doing this before. So this has definitely helped my relationship with Murph too. I love you. So once you do that the first time, you want to go back to doing sometimes putting your hand there. Murphy. Yes. Because that will just help them ingrain that when they see a tapping leg. No, he just wants treats. When they see a tapping leg that they need to interfere and help you out. So, yes. Good boy. You're just gonna wanna practice this for a really long time. Make sure to give them breaks because dogs will get burnt out and they'll get frustrated and annoyed with you and they'll get all like, feisty. So take some play breaks or sleeping breaks. Make sure to switch off between legs because sometimes the dog will get really comfortable on one leg and when you do it on the other leg, they'll get kinda confused and be like, what are you doing? Yes. Now I'm going to show you how Murphy kind of learned to pick out other ways of stress. So I'm going to bounce my leg and breathe heavy at the same time to try to get him to realize that they are both stress. <sighs> yes. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing that and just repeat it, like breathing with the leg. Now I'm just going to start breathing heavily. <sighs> yes. See, that just, the leg bounce really helps him understand what stress, kind of what stress looks like and when you're stressed out. And dogs are literally so freaking smart and we don't deserve them. So I'm just going to go on the floor now and show another example of something. Yes, yes, good boy. So just keep adding stuff in with like other forms of stress just to get them used to what you're stressing. He used to just completely ignore me if I was having a panic attack, but now if I have a panic attack, he'll come up to me, he'll give me kisses. Hi, yes, can you get away from the viewfinder? Thank you. He'll give me kisses and he'll lay by me sometimes and he'll like lay by me and just like give me attention. And I think it's really cool how dogs have gotten to be so smart. Like he's just kind of a genius. Sit. Yes, good boy. There's one more thing that I forgot to mention. So if you really want your dog to help distract you, eye contact is a really big piece of that. So I think you should work on look at me. Yes. So how you teach look at me, there are hundreds of thousands of videos on look at me. Basically you take a treat, you put it by your eye, you say look at me. So he's itching, I'll give him a minute. Look at me. Yes. And then you kind of just start putting your finger there. Look at me. Yes. And then while you're doing the leg tapping and stuff like that, add that in so he will look at you and it'll give a better distraction because your dog will be making eye contact with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions about this or how to do it or anything like that, please let me know. I would be so happy to help you. I want this to help people because teaching Murphy this really helped me with my anxiety. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below anything you want, subscribe, and if you guys want any more videos with Murphy, let me know because that'd be really fun because he's my little pal. Like, he's literally my best friend. Like, I love him more than anything. That's all for today's video. Friday's video is going to be so fun. It may or may not have something to do with...